story time on Nick Jr. Gently, gently, clear for takeoff. Oh, fiddlesticks. There, there. Don't be glum, chum. Erase that pouty face. These things take time. Have you ever heard the story of the tortoise and the hare? Say, here's our pal Cedric the Entertainer. Cedric, have you heard the tale of the tortoise and the hare? Are you kidding me, Moose? Of course. Well, I think Z here could really use a good fable right about now. Well, Z, it all went down like this. A bunch of animals were sitting around talking about this and that, mostly that, and this hare comes up looking an awful lot like a rabbit, if you ask me. And he says, hey, y'all, have I mentioned lately how incredibly quick I am? How utterly fast and speedy I move? The animals just sat there fuming and seething. You know, Z, no one likes a boastful bunny. Anyway, the hare says, come on, who wants to race me? Who wants me to lick them in a race, lickety-split? Who's in the mood to lose? Well, the little tortoise inched forward, looking a lot like a turtle, if you ask me. And he pipes up and says, me, I'll race you, rabbit. So the hare bust out laughing. <laughs> you, said the hare, you must be crazy. <laughs> I'll have crossed the finish line before you even break a sweat. But if that's the way you want it, then let's do it. The animals gathered around, and at the count of three, one, two, three, the two racers took off. Well, the hare took off as fast as lightning down the road, so all you could see was a cloud of dust. And that poor little tortoise, he just plodded along. One short, stubby tortoise leg after the other. The hare was so far ahead, he said, Man, that guy will never catch up. I'll just take a little snooze before I watch Shell Boy lose. And the hare decided to lay down under a tree for a brief nap. Meanwhile, the tortoise kept going doing his best, slowly putting one foot in front of the other. And when the hare woke up, imagine his surprise to see the tortoise crossing the finish line. The tortoise had won the race. And do you know why, Z? Because everybody knows slow and steady wins the race. Yep. If you keep at something, little by little, you will get there. Now, Z, don't you have a model airplane to finish? Now that's entertainment. Yep. Read with your kids for 20 minutes every day and inspire a lifetime love of learning. Ni hao. That's how I say hi in Chinese. Come join Thailand. Come on. Let's go, go, go. In a big-hearted, playful <laughs> world. Full of great friends. You know what makes you really special, Carlan? You're a super good friend. And new experiences. Wow. This, is this is awesome. awesome. Catch Nihao Kailan every day on Nick Jr. Yeah!